Hey, welcome back everyone. Hey, I do want to say thank you to all my subscribers and everyone that watches my videos and hit the like button. So it's been three months since I've done a pantry update and I've done a lot of changes. So I've added a lot of stuff to my pantry and I, I want to take you guys through a tour here. If you haven't seen where I was at three months ago, there's a, a link to the video in the description or you can just find it in the same playlist as this video. But let's go over my pantry a little bit. I'm going to start here on the left side. So on the top I have um, Top Ramen for you guys in the U.S., but basically it's Pancit Canton, and I, I got four big cases. I like the lemon calamansi one, so I got a lot of that, and I got the sweet and spicy. And then something from Indonesia, which I like a lot, is the Indomie Mei Goreng, which is a Pancit Canton as well, but it's just a different quality uh, taste. So my stuff kind of comes from all over. I am in the Philippines, so I do have some of Frank's finest coffee, so I got a year supply for one person. And I got more on order, so I'm waiting for that to come in. And then obviously I got a lot of the Augustine potato slices, because first of all, potatoes go good in everything. Uh, they store for 25 years, and I got a ton of them. So what I, I basically don't have everything super organized. Most things do have the best by date, um, listed here, for example, this bean stew from Molinera, which is basically uh, uh, pinto beans and sausage and bacon. It's good till 27, right? So I got some odd stuff that you probably don't see in a lot of pantries in the U.S. because I am out in Asia and I get to order some neat stuff. Like um, from China, I get pork leg with mushroom. Um, the garbanzo beans from Spain. Um, also from Spain, I get stuff like braised pork cheek. Um, this stuff is from Germany, right? So it's just your standard peas and carrots. I get a lot of stuff from the German store out here because they ship like all my green beans, my pea soups, my mushrooms, my stews. Uh, the green olives is Italian, right? So I get a lot of neat stuff. Again, this stuff is from the German store. It's basically meatballs, kippers, and potatoes. Now, these meatballs here got... Um, the rest of the year to go before they're done. A couple things that just came in I haven't had ticks on, but also stuff from China that's really neat. So this is basically a can of um, pork, right? So they call it guling, but it's uh, from China and it's uh, like chunky bacon in the meat sauce. And this particular, I haven't put the number on there, but this is good till uh, October 20th, 2025 right so you can see that so I'm basically getting some different proteins and stuff stacked up as well as the stuff you're probably used to seeing like the cream of mushroom soups and all my tomatoes right so I got various tomatoes down here um, I have a lot of canned fish um, especially you know the salmon which is good out till 27 so I got a lot of canned salmon the scallops the herrings um, I got canned ham um, Apis, I, I, this is from, let's see, Bajo Concentration. So it's either Italian or it's uh, Spanish. And same with the Corin, yeah, so same, same stuff. Product of Spain, yeah, so all the Corin stuff comes from Spain. Um, now this sauce is coming up due May, so I'm going to either start making a lot more and freeze drying or not. Red's beans, Bob's red beans. Now we've, I had a lot more of these, but my wife found them and she really likes them. She likes slow cooking this in the crock pot. So I will definitely get some more of these uh, 13 grain and 13 bean soup combos. Potatoes, your standard uh, Campbell soup, your Dinty Moore stew, your chili stag. You know, uh, the, the fruit here I use when I cook oatmeal. I put the fruit in the oatmeal, same with the applesauce. Uh, and the chili goes into my chili cheese mac. The MREs down here are pretty much basically for uh, video content. <laughs> I, I stuck some chowder down here, Progresso. It's not the best chowder in the world, but it'll work. I got two big cans of cheese sauce. Now I'm gonna use one of these today and I'm gonna make a, another batch of freeze dried mac and cheese. Basically just elbow mac, salt, pepper, and cheese. I got 50 cans of green peas. I got uh, uh, 48 cans of baked beans. I do have a ReadyWise breakfast mix here, and I got this because it was really on sale, super sale locally, so I picked that up, even though I'm gonna make a lot of my breakfast stuff myself. Some interesting things I have, I do have some cake mix. I don't know what the expiration is on it because it's not on the box, 
but uh, it's powdered, so I'm pretty sure it's going to last. I do have an issue of tropical fruit and fruit cocktail and peaches and stuff. One thing you might want to take notice of here is like the shape of this can. Now this can had an expiration of April 2023, so it's coming up due, and they were dented really bad. But they were like 20% of normal cost, and I use mushrooms in all my freeze-dried pasta. Um, some large cans of peeled tomatoes down there. In this bucket I have uh, mung beans, popcorn, and chickpeas. This is salt. That's uh, washed sugar. It's not brown sugar, even though it looks brown, it's just washed. And that's pretty much everything on that side. I still have space um, to squeeze stuff in. I keep my solar panels in here. Now, the, the oh, so the big add over here is, I, first of all, this shelf wasn't here. This whole shelf is new. And then uh, I went back and added these guide wires um, to keep things, if there is an earthquake. These shelves are mounted to the wall. And I do have these guide wires here to uh, help keep it in the shelf. Now, I did a lot of white rice. I did a video on it, so if you want to see how I preserve white rice, you can go ahead. But I have 10 of these five gallon buckets of white rice that's been frozen twice, stuck in mylar, two times the O2 absorbers than required, and this rice should be pretty solid. Down at the bottom, I got my pinto or my white kidneys, and they go all the way back. I have uh, white kidneys in the back as well. So I got two buckets of each of the red kidney and the, and the white kidneys. Um, my bread flour's here. Um, I got two buckets of these. So I got uh, flour here, which is good until 24. So I got to keep an eye on that as well. Bread crumbs, same way. Um, 100 cans of Argentina corn chicken. 100 cans of Century Tuna, hot and spicy, which is how we like it. 100 cans of Argentina corned beef in 100 cans of Don Pedro sardines and tomato. And then some bulk corn, some instant bowls, which we eat a lot of. And then uh, I have a lot of macaronis, but I, I freeze dry a lot of the macaroni stuff if you've seen my videos, so that's why I'm doing a lot of that. It's got my little work shelf here. I got over 100 cans of Korean Spam, which is good out till 2025. Got some peanut butter. I have a lot of high energy concentration bars. Now these are ration bars and uh, they're like worst case scenario. But these are going to give you, and they're, they're good till 2042, right? But let's see, what does it give you for calories? I don't know, it gives you a lot of vitamins. Uh, calories, so it's 1,916 calorie per pack. So I got a lot of those. I add a lot more oatmeal, but I've been freeze drying savory oatmeal as well as sweet oatmeal. Uh, this is just left over from the other day. It'll probably be used up soon. Now, you guys can comment below. All these mashed potatoes say May 2023, and you can see I have a lot of these. I'm trying to decide whether I need to repackage them or just go ahead and make a whole bunch of potatoes and then just freeze dry it. Because these aren't instant potatoes. These require milk and butter and salt. So I might want to just go ahead and cook them and then freeze dry it and make it all instant. So soda crackers, um, they keep for a long time. They go with the canned fish really well. Same with the pancake mix. Sorry, I got a lot of pancake mix here and I got to decide if I want to repackage it. Um, a lot of this stuff is good this year only. So I have to double check what I'm going to do with that. Uh, I did a video on these um, all included ready to eat MREs. I call them MREs because they include the heater, the water, the spoon, the fork, the napkin, trash bag, everything. So they're pretty cool. Uh, some spicy vinegar in the back. And obviously the big spend here is all the Augustine Farms stuff, right? Everywhere from veggie, onions, soup, the veggie burger mix, tomato powder, all the Alfredos, a lot of milk. Again, more pancake mix, cheese, butter, cream of wheat, some lasagna in the back, extra soup. I got honey powder, peanut butter powder, corn chowder, broccoli, and a bunch of bread scone roll mixes. Now, I'm gonna do some videos on taste testing and opening some of this stuff, but the main goal is this, so I had a long-term storage for some really good food. If you notice up here, this is all new. This is the stuff I've been freeze drying. So you can see like in this one here, I have some chili cheese mac, some chicken Alfredo, 
and uh, some more chili cheese mac. They're all mixed. I got cooked pork, cooked chicken. Uh, a lot of raw scrambled eggs are in a bunch of these here. Um, I've already powdered them up. I got some shredded, shredded cooked rotisserie chicken in this one as well. Um, my puddings, my spaghetti, my oatmeal, corn, sliced bananas. So I got a lot of bunch of different things up there. And I still haven't figured out what I want to do with my medical stuff yet, right? So right now I'm just keeping it in my pantry. But all my medical stuff is here as well. And I've done a video on the stuff that I have. Um, go ahead and check that video out if you want to see what kind of stuff I'm doing as far as uh, medicine and stuff. It's uh, pretty comprehensive. So a lot of medicines as well as medical supplies. So this is my pantry. Um, it's still a long ways to go. I still need a lot to add. I still got a lot of room in here, fortunately, because I do plan on filling this up all the way. I have more than enough food for four people for a year. Uh, my goal is to get it to be uh, six to eight people for a year because my family out here is quite large. And if there was a problem other than just food inflation and I had to tap into this stuff on a regular basis, it is going to be imperative that I have a year supply for 15 or 20 now. That's a lot of food. Food's expensive, but I'm trying my best to get it here. And uh, I, I hope you appreciate the effort I'm doing. And I'm sharing, not to brag, I'm just sharing because, you know, I put a lot of work into this pantry and I put a lot of work into getting a mix of things. And uh, in case you're wondering, I have water, right? So I have a water refilling station. I have two deep wells. So you see all this food and you're going to say, hey, where's all your water? Watch one of my other videos. I have all all the water I'll ever need, so I'm covered in that regard. But I just want you to guys take a quick peek. You know, I have some interesting stuff, you know, turkey meat, um, sweet style spaghetti sauce, you know, some of my chicken stocks. I do have a lot of teas, um, Nestle iced tea, soy sauce. I have things that I eat. I have things that my wife like to eat. I do have a lot of stuff that's protein based, right? You won't see any beanie weenies because I don't like them. I'd rather spend my money on chorizo sausages and or these Brockwurst sausages from Germany, which are just a much better quality than your chicken beanie weenies are. So protein heavy, um, sauce heavy, fish heavy, noodles. Um, I still need a lot more veg. The reason I don't have a whole lot of veg here other than the freeze dried stuff, um, like the broccoli, which is expensive here and I guess everywhere, is I do plan on freeze drying, you know, my stock, celery, uh, green beans, carrots, peas, and stuff. So I'll have my own freeze-dried supply um, for long-term storage for my veg, and I'm still working on it. The stuff I didn't want to make is like the garlic, right? I got a whole bunch of freeze-dried garlic. I just bought that from Amazon. Um, the onions right here, again, I can easily buy, uh, not easily, onions are expensive and hard to find out here. Um, I, I've made like 40% back of my money just on these onions if I wanted to use them today already, let alone 25 years from now. But these are things I don't want to make myself just because it's, you know, it's a pain in the butt. Chopping all the onions and stinks up your freeze dryer and stuff. Anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video to do an update. It's been probably three months since I have done one. And I wanted you guys to get a, a peek at where I'm at. And I do appreciate all comments. If you got any suggestions on what I should start stacking, let me know. And if you watch all the way to the end, please hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit subscribe. Go check out some of my other content. You might like it. Um, I think you will. A lot of people do. And until next time, thank you.